I'm 13, sweaty, stinky, and with huge curly hair. And I clearly don't fit in. And also, because of my mother's mental illness, we move a lot. Like, a lot. I go to five different elementary schools, and I am really, really good at being the new kid. But by the time I hit seventh grade, I'm totally friendless. So to make friends, I decide to audition for a musical. So I get all dressed up in my, my best Izod polo, my khakis and my Sperry topsiders, hustle myself down, get ready for the audition. My name is called, I go to my spot, the piano starts and I sing happy birthday. And then silence. Now from where I'm standing, I can see a tight bun of gray hair over the piano. Finally, she says, you can't sing. You'll never be able to sing. And defeated, I go home. Well, luckily for me, they don't have enough males. And I'm, I know, right? And I'm cast as the king in The Princess and the Magic Pea. But the only problem is, is I don't know how to sing. I don't know how to act. I've never been in a play before. I literally don't know what I'm doing. So when I was in first grade, my mother and I made a very grown-up decision that I would be responsible for all my own homework. She said that her mental illness wouldn't allow her to help me. But you know what? I was so desperate, I really didn't care. So I went and asked her. I said, you know, what can you do for me? And she, like a, like a Hollywood agent at, a, at the kitchen table, she mulls over my casting decision. What, what's she going to do for me? And she, she takes her pink bathrobe and she never takes it off and she adjusts it and she curls her black curly hair and she, she goes through all her papers and she sighs and finally she says, fine, fine, I'll do it. And I'm like, do what? And she's like, I'll coach you. I'm like, how? She's like, I'll teach you how to sing and dance. I know what I'm doing. And I'm like, well, what if I forget what I'm doing on stage or nothing comes out of me or I get terrified? She goes, ah, that's part of it. It's, it's part of it. Anything can happen. But more often than not, you'll be wonderful and everyone will love you. And then she takes my hands, looks me dead in the eye and says, Please, let me do this for you. It's the only thing I have to give you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so giddy. I couldn't believe this was happening. She wanted to be part of my life. This, this is what it feels like. This is love. So I say, yes, 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 yes. Please coach me. So... My mother takes her hand to show me that notes go up and notes go down because I, like, I have no idea how this works. And she sings. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And I try to copy her, and I can't. <laughs> My voice cracks and breaks and hisses like a car radiator. But my mother, the pro, she totally solves it. I'm going to speak all my song lyrics. So it's opening night of Princess and the Magic Pea, and I am backstage, and I am peeking through the curtains like you're not supposed to do. <laughs> and the curtains are heavy, velvety. They have that elementary school smell. I look through the curtains, I'm looking for my mother. She's not there. But then, in the corner, these huge Jackie O sunglasses come in through the back of the theater. She's got her, her trench coat collar up. She's got her hair tied back. She finds a seat where she can simultaneously watch and escape at the same time. And she's got her program up against her face, keeping the voices inside and at bay. Now, I'm dressed in a black cat suit that looks like something Bob Mackie put together. 
and I've got this huge crown, and I'm, I'm looking pretty great. So everyone starts, right? The play starts, and I sing, and I dance, and I sing like Rex Harrison. It's great about the, all the virtues of my prince's daughter. It's great. I'm, I'm so loud. I'm so loud you can hear me outside. So the play is over, and I'm a huge triumph. And all these senior citizens rush me at the stage. And one of them shouts out, you're the only one we can hear. <laughs> so I'm, I'm bathing, I'm basking in all the glory, right? And I look over all the senior citizens to uh, where my mother should be. She's not there. She's escaped once again. But she tells me that she's proud of me at home and that she loves me. So my mother gives me the only gift she has, how to act like somebody else. And I get really good at it. I'm voted most talented in my high school. And I sing at my high school graduation in front of my largest crowd ever, 3,000 people. And I'm on stage, and I'm getting ready, and I think back to that moment, that risky princess in the pea moment, and I look to where my mother should be, and she's not there. She doesn't come to hear me sing. The voices in her head begin to win that year, and I lose her piece by piece. But my mother was right. Singing, dancing, performing, speaking. It can all fall apart at any moment. And that's the fun, right? More often than not, you will be great. And everyone will love you. Thank you.